The Nike Zoom Structure 21 Shield is the latest model of the shoe that has helped overpronators around the world providing stability and support for runs and various workouts. The outsole has a honeycomb pattern that provides great multi-surface traction and durability. The midsole called dynamic support is what makes this shoe special. There are two types of cushioning, one called phylon which is on the medial side of the shoe and it is firmer than the cushion, which is on the lateral part of the shoe for balanced support. This combination provides uh, superb stability and uh, impact protection as well. The forefoot has a zoom air unit which is a low profile pressurized air pocket that flexes on contact for responsive cushioning. Let me tell you, it's really magnificent. The upper is what makes this shoe the shield version. A water repellent finish able to withstand rough weather. A one piece fly mesh that is a bit thicker than the non-shield model, but still breathable as well. Flexible and extremely durable. I will tell you a little story about this uh, Nike technology a little bit later. The laces are lengthy, soft, and easy to tie. They are not flat, but not oval either. They are somewhere in the middle. The tongue is pretty soft and just the right amount of cushioning, similar to the Pegasus, the Vomeros, and the Lunar Glides. Check out the laces. Shield versions release around the fall when it gets colder and rains a little bit more depending where you live. Um, it gets darker a little bit faster as well. This is why they have reflective materials around the shoe to help you stand out during your evening workouts. Finally, the lining, which is this part of the shoe right here. It, it feels a little silky, but it has plenty of cushioning in my opinion. It's a little thinner than the previous models, but just as durable. At least it feels pretty durable. So the Nike Zoom Structure 21 Shield sound like the perfect shoe, right? Well, it depends. They are a bit tall and they take a little while to break in. They, are, they also feel heavy, but just at first. I overpronate a little bit and I am also kind of flat footed. So these are the perfect shoe for me and for my running style. I do not require a wide foot fit, but I do require a little bit of extra room. So the average width feet might experience a little bit of extra room right here in the toe box. Test these shoes thoroughly from breathability to traction on various surfaces, concrete, dirt, rocks, trail, and anything that crosses my path. I will also do a 5K test and a 100 yard sprint or dash, whatever you wanna call it. Look, I do these tests and reviews this way to show you what they are capable of and provide you with real life information that you won't find anywhere else. So if you grind for every dollar that you make on your check, just like I do, and you're on the fence about it or just curious about the product I review, then perhaps it will help you decide. Well, that's enough talking. Let's go outside and test these out.
Hey guys, welcome back. I had a lot of fun testing these out. When I ran the 5K, the shoes felt extremely well, so I felt extremely well. I had no issues at all whatsoever. I didn't pull anything, I didn't feel like I was gonna cramp, I didn't feel any pain on my ankles, my feet, my hips, no, anything like that. They were fantastic. The 100 yard dash was very fun as well. I went as fast as I could, I never felt like I was gonna injure myself. I did about four or five runs and I posted the best time. Full training was flawless when I wore these. Traction was consistently great on every surface, no matter what I did. Um, impact was not even an issue, even when I jumped on various surfaces. For basketball, it was incredible as well. They were super grippy, but I would not play in these because of the height. It would be dangerous, if you ask me. The trail is where I really believe that these perform the best. Rocks, gravel, dirt, trees, stairs, hills. There were no match for the Nike Zoom Structure 21 Shield. The reflective materials on these shoes worked really well. I went for a few runs like around 4 or 5 a.m. and when cars would pass by, I could see my shoes shine or reflect. The water repellent material in these shoes is hands down the best. The story I was gonna tell you about earlier. I took some shoes to Disney World with the same Nike Shield technology that is in these shoes during a tropical storm. 
12 hours walking, 12 hours of non-stop rain. My feet stayed dry the entire time. They work extremely well, the best. Are these shoes perfect? No. Remember that I told you that the lining felt a little silky? That's this part right here. Well, when I wore socks that had more nylon or more polyester than cotton, my feet would slide around in the shoe. So I had to tighten them more than I, that I like, but they perform fine after that. As much praise as I gave the outsole on various surfaces, it was slippery on grit, on wet gravel driveways, excuse me, and on the parking lot like at 7-Eleven, on the yellow parking lines and, or, or white, when it was wet, this part was very slippery, but other than that, we're fine. Lastly, a petty gripe. I love the midsole, the dynamic support midsole. It works fantastic. It supports you, it's beautiful, great, but there's one issue, it is not as flexible as I would like. Other than that, I have to say I am really loving these. Thanks to the new upper material, I never had to break these in. Fantastic, I was really surprised about that. They were flexible, durable, I know flexible, as I told you that they weren't flexible. The upper is very flexible, it's magnificent. The outsole is not that flexible, but I still love it. It's great, despite my petty criticism. The version comes in two colorways, an all black version and this beautiful combination of colors of binary blue, armory blue, wolf gray, and obsidian, along with that pull tab that I thought would be annoying at first, but then I really, really loved it in the end. I don't know, I might get the all black version. I really like these a lot. Please check out my Instagram for more pictures of these shoes. As great as these are, I will not be using them for my upcoming half marathons. I've never ran more than four miles in these. I've never needed to. I use them for other things. They are an important part of my arsenal so I can get through the marathons. But the Nike Zoom Structure 21 Shield are one of the best shoes I've ever trained in, ran in, stepped, slipped my foot in. Excellent shoes, magnificent. The water repellent, the toughness, everything was fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. Steve Zilla out.